turkey, yay! <laughs> Do you slide on all your nights like this? Do you try on all your nights like this? I might put some spotlight on the slide. Whatever comes, comes to clear. We're in Turkey. I got my hat. Can't believe it. It's 90, 95 degrees outside. Yeah, literally. We walked 10 feet, instantly sweating. Yeah, in the windows. <laughs> Took off my sweats in underwear right now. Wait, are you airport. actually? No. Oh, <laughs> I need to put on shorts. It's oh, really hot. We have to tell them what just happened. What happened? Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. So everyone's just trying to get Wi-Fi at this airport. So I I'm buy. just going to burn up data because it's quicker than getting Wi-Fi. So I buy, um, you know, like a traditional Turkish dish from this little store. It was a cheese tortilla, you liar. With basil <laughs> and, um, you know, so <coughs> they say, you know, you have to buy it. And if you buy it, then you can get uh, Wi-Fi. The plugs are different here. The plugs are different. Oh, man. <laughs> so I buy it, I get Wi-Fi. I have all the converters with me. And guess what? They changed the Wi-Fi password on me. Wow, that's great. That's good. My dad was prepared. What do you guys think my uh, cowboy name should be? I think his hat is dumb. Oh, it's from Eastern Mountain Sports. Okay, maybe it's not that bad after all. Coyote sauce. <laughs> so also, we, <laughs> we left America, like JFK, at like midnight. And then we got here and it's like 10 a.m. our time because it was like a 10 hour flight. But it's 5, 5 p.m. But it's 5 p.m. their time, so I'm really like tripped up right now. It's a little trippy. And then we don't get to Zanz no, not Zanzibar. Kilimanjaro, is that literally the name of the airport? Yeah. Uh, we're going to Moshi. Moshi. And we don't get there till like 2 a.m. So, love traveling. I honestly just can't wait to sleep, but it's fine. Okay. We'll see you guys in Moshi. Hi, we're see on you the there. plane. All right, yeah. so we're here, Zanzibar. Psych, we're so in Kilimanjaro. Yeah, oh, I yeah. can't even hold this, right? Um, we literally are in the randomest place ever. Here. I don't think I can carry this. This is our little airport. Say what's up to the vlog. What's up? Um, is there a video camera? Yeah. Yeah. What up, G? Okay, I'm, I'm Jill, by the way. I've met you yet. Oh, hi. I'm Gretchen. Nice to meet you. After 22 hours of traveling, they Why finally meet. Why um, Because it was outside. All right. But yeah, so this is our welcome to our airport. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you guys when we're on our way to the hotel. Wait, can I show them my outfit? Yeah, here, look at our outfit. <laughs> it's better than mine. Whose is better? Or hers. I think she's gonna win. I just wanna remember this moment because it's like really nice. And there's a nice breeze. Kind of. Ah, uh, put in a little voiceover. So basically what I was talking about, wow, it feels so long ago already, but we get to the Kilimanjaro airport. It's like 2 a.m. We have to go through customs, get our bags and everything. We get on this bus and we have to drive for another like hour to get to our hotel in Moshi. But basically, I don't know, I should have been so tired like everyone else, but I just felt so at peace. It was really dark out, obviously, and there was just a nice breeze coming through the window, and it was so nice just to talk to everyone and relax and like finally actually be in Africa. It was just like a nice moment, a nice little memory to have, especially after a three-hour drive to JFK, then a 10-hour flight to Turkey, then a seven-hour flight from Turkey to Kilimanjaro. So guys, I really just want to go to bed right now because it's actually 5 a.m. their time, so it's really only... 10 p.m. our time back home. So we've been traveling for 10 hours on our first flight, three hour layover, and then seven hours on our second flight. So we're just like all so dead and so tired. But you know sometimes you get like over the wall of being tired and then you're not tired anymore. I feel like that's a lot of people in our group right now. So they're out like exploring a hotel, like walking around and I'm like, no, like it's 5 a.m. I have to go to bed. Like our breakfast is at 10, but whatever. I'm gonna insert the name of the hotel right here because it's so nice. And I just wanted to show you guys our room really quick. It has three little beds. That we're just gonna put our stuff on. This is Lexa's, and then this is mine. And then here's the little bathroom. I'm just gonna brush my teeth and hop right into bed. And yeah, it's just like really cute. And it feels so surreal that we're in Africa. Like, I just can't believe it. Like, I don't, it's so crazy. Like, I've never even been to Europe and just seeing all the places we were flying over and stuff. It was just like crazy. And what I think is really cool is I just flush the toilet after I went pee and you like pull on this thing. It's like different than. America, so that's cool. And just like driving on over here was so nice. It was just like this van with a bunch of us and like the windows were open and there was like a nice breeze and it was like that perfect nighttime, like summer feeling temperature, you know? I'm really so excited to be here and I can't wait. I can't wait, so, early, so right now it's like really, really early, I guess, um, Tuesday morning. 
then we're leaving Wednesday morning to start hiking Mount Kilimanjaro. And yeah, I'm going to head to bed for like four or five hours of sleep, get breakfast, chill tomorrow, and then we'll start our, our hike on Wednesday.